All right. Last time, you observed the exploits of a certain Sapphire Scavola with Ego to the Limit. Um, I, wanna, I won't be repeating most of the plot details, as you've been informed. As to, you know, we are within Psycholia, the weapons being used are called Egos. Basically, you take a frame, which is a weapon that's been specially prepared, you combine it with half your personality and various other things, and bam, now you have a weapon of superpowers. They use these things to kill the physical manifestations of psychic heat, led by espers, which are now monsters, and that's effectively all you need to know for the time being. It's a month before, it's a month before the formal education of these four begins at um, our beloved, beloved Sigmalius University, aka known as Sigil U, and we are looking at Alicia Landon today. Ego Devilstung, I guess you're going to have to find out more about her, but basically, it's the night. It's the night of um, August 23rd, 2026, a month, exactly a month, before the education begins. And um, it's a cool, beautiful night. It's, um, yeah, 725, and we, and we will be joining Alicia Landon as she is enjoying the night with a nice book in a quiet, in a quiet park. Do you have anything to say before we begin? Uh, just as a visual note, moving forward, her mouth does not appear to move under the mask when she talks. Just because I don't think there's going to be a convenient place to put that. Other than that, not okay. really. Um, um, um. So, Alicia is enjoying the cool night. The cool summer night before education begins in a local in a local port in town Makoto. She's on a picnic even and she bought a book and some nice refreshments. And the nice blanket. It's, it's very serene. There's you know, there's not too much going on around her at the moment. She can just kind of enjoy nature and um the scenic views of the park. She takes a deep breath of the fresh uh, spring, is it? It's summer, it's August. The fresh summer air. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose again. As she takes another bite of her sandwich, her mask splitting open into gnashing teeth to do so. How, how curious. What book might she have? What, what kind of what book do you think she might have bought? Like, what's what's her interests? Mm, she probably reads a lot of classical li literature, so I'm going to say she's reading through the Looking Glass at the moment. Okay, that they don't that exists probably. So she's enjoying um, she's enjoying her nights of reading through the Looking Glass. And um, yeah, it's um not. There isn't, there isn't too much going on, but she, she can just kind of sit and think about, you know, wow, from humble beginnings, from, you know, well, not, not super humble, of course, due to her family situation, but from where she once was in high school to where she is now, isn't that kind of interesting? Indeed. Quite many changes after getting an ego. Yeah, you know... She, she she probably formed her ego a few weeks ago. It was and then, um so she's been able to start readjusting to the life, which well it's not really really readjusting. She probably doesn't have any memories of um life beforehand, does she? No, not really. She was really young when the incident happened. She's savoring every bite of that food. She can she can now eat solids, which is very which is probably a big learning curve for her. Indeed. No. And um, she might have gotten... So, and she, she probably came to Makoto, like, you know, a, few, a little bit ago. It, there's a lot of things to see and do in Makoto, she's, um, she's probably coming to realize. Which is good, because she's going to have a dorms here, so it's nice to know there's, like, there's bookstores, there's, an, there's arcades, like, um, the one that's most famous around here is the Red Reminder Arcade. Hmm. There's just a lot to do. It's a very lively college town, because it's it's one of the three college towns sat on the border of Sigmalius. 
Yeah, she thinks to herself, maybe she should go to that arcade sometime. Yeah, she's heard it's to die for, especially, like, you know. But, suddenly, actually. That was a little late on the rim shot. The map. The comically delayed rim shot. <laughs> suddenly. Is this music to be fucking playing? I'm not sure. Uh, I can't hear anything, but. If you turn up jockey music in here, it's just very oh, faint. Yeah, there it is. But yeah, so it's like, so. Suddenly, she kind of hears something, because basically this is a small park, and so she can kind of see the um, road from here. It's not very dis dis disruptive, she can't hear it, but she can kind of see it, like the parking lot. And um, she sees two silver cars pull in, like from this direction. She sees two silver cars pull in, the windows are tinted so black she can't even see through them, even if she had good eyesight, which is a bit strange, as you might imagine. Mm. Do they have their headlights on? It is the middle of the night. It's, it's, it's the evening. It's seven twenty-five p.m. Remember, um, mm. nights a lot, evenings are longer in the summer, so it's not super right. dark yet. So, are they driving like on the the road beside the park, or are they driving straight onto the grass? There's a parking lot. There's like a dirt okay, parking lot. Okay. You're not driving straight onto onto the grass. Mm. And, and so, however, they kind of park, and you see, and she sees several figures get out. The kind of dressed formally, but some of them look a bit strange. She can't quite tell from this distance, but it seems to be like you know, making their way up into the park, taking a look around, taking the scenery, etc. Well, it's a little odd, but she's still getting used to the area. Maybe this is just normal around here. Mm. Still continue eating the picnic and observing. Okay. Um, after like, see, so they seem to be meticulously taking in every detail of the port. You see, you think you see one of them has like a um, you know, disposable camera. They're kind of taking shots, um, mm. texting someone, etc. As they kind of look around very diligently. Mm. One sec, I'm going to roll for suspicion. <laughs> no, that's not going to explain suspicion. I means more. Okay, yeah. So she's a bit suspicious? Yeah. And would you like to roll me. Oh, sorry, go on. Hmm? No, what were you going to say? Would you, like, would you like to roll me a sight check or something, actually? Sure. Okay, I don't know what's going on with these dice. Because uh, apparently there's a whole new interface. Uh, no, not 2D20. Whatever, they both <laughs> totally botched. Oh, he doesn't notice anything at the moment. Mm. I get one roll. That's... No, not GM. Oh, okay, I just pressed the. Okay. Hmm. Let's see, so. I suppose at this point, just she'd pick up her picnic basket and uh, bring it over to the group of individuals to strike up a friendly conversation. Yeah, actually, he knows they're coming very close to her. Hmm. Like we're, we're not, we're not. She doesn't. They seem to be intentionally doing it, but they are. They're coming close as the um, you know, the group emerges or, or crests yeah. the hills per se. Yeah, she'd get to about there, and I assume this is probably to scale or so. Yeah, that's probably to scale. And calling out to the group, Hello, uh, strangers! What are you doing yeah. out in the fine park like this? Enjoying the, f enjoying the park! What else would we be doing? Oh, alright, I just saw you were taking pictures. Is this just yeah, holding on tourists. to memories, I would assume? We're tourists, yeah. Okay, uh... She now they, fishes now around least, in her picnic. Yeah, now that Lisa is closer, by the way. Sorry, mm -hmm. go on. Go she, on first. Go she on first. fishes around in her picnic basket, pulls out a sandwich. Uh, would you guys like a sandwich? Hmm. Yeah, I could go for a sandwich. Oh, Walks there you up. go. Have a nice you day. Notice this, you notice this figure. Um, 
Oh, that is in is in a black suit with a yellow undershirt, and they have a um strange, yeah, like you know, a strange um pin on the lapel of the suit. Also missing an eye. All right, I assume this would be the time for a knowledge check. Yeah, go ahead. Fourteen. Hmm. Um, I think I I think I did give it two good old stigs on a similar wall, mm. but yeah. You kind of recognize them from what you've heard of the area as. Mm. Mm. What? You're staring. What are you staring oh. at? What? And what Sorry, my... I thought I recognized you from somewhere. It's nothing. Mm. She right. walks away. Have a nice day. And Mind your fucking business away. next I... time, okay? Mind your fucking business. Well, that's rude. I was simply mm. seeing another person in the park. But have a nice day. As they she's walking grow. away, she's going to form an illusion of both of the two eyes gang that are within her radius. I, I didn't put it specifically, you know, general area. Of, like, yeah. both of them having eyes again as she walks away. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? They're looking at each other. Huh? What? You, you, you know, what the? She sits back down. By the way, what well, you've noticed actually is um, these figures, right? They are a bit suspicious. Hmm. Very strange, even. So, specifically, they're in big, big, kind of um, big, big, baggy gray trench coats with massive collars that go up like probably mm. to half of their head it connects to a um big wide brimmed hat and it sh shades what would be a face in darkness it's, mm. it's so it's it's kind of secured by a few loose belts and they kind of just stand there very stiffly as they look at the two eyes almost uh, expecting something as She's going to leave an illusion of herself, like a hollow one, so there's no inside. It wouldn't stand up to scrutiny, but they're far enough away and have one eye. They're going to sneak into the bush, the tree, like behind the tree, I guess. It's not bushes, so it's. Yeah, it's it's a tree. It's, under, tree, it's underneath a tree, yeah. So, yeah, hide behind the tree for now. And. About here. Yeah. Disappear the, yeah, disappear the illusion of the eyes, and sort of ready in action to bonk whoever comes by next. And just okay. sort of observe, see if she can get the drop on them. Okay, what the, f I don't know what the fuck that was. It's gone now, alright. Look, they're walking by, walking by. They're about to kind of move past, probably, right? All right? Let's see. So, how many of them would you say are like within melee range when this happens? Probably, um, you know what? I'll say three of them. All right. With that, say that these are, you know, criminals and all. She's going to rush out into the group of them. And, okay, where should I put her token to represent being in adjacent to three of them? Because I'm not sure where to put her for that. Here? I think like here. Okay. She'll rush out into the group of them and throw down a spotlight, spotlight whirlwind. Dealing with that damage in that area. Would you say that kind of like has a um, like kinetic force behind it at least somewhat? Yeah, it's a sword. It's a sword spin, essentially, just with some second. flourishes to make apply the neon. Second, okay. As you kind of do that, what happens is that first off, you know that they all take four damage, right? Yeah, and they all get the neon status, but that's well, no, that means advantage for her next attack. But anyway, and then what happens is that the um. Trench coat and hat of this one blows away, and standing there is something that, even if, even if you haven't been on your formal education, you know exactly what this is. 
it's a vital. One of the shit mob kind of, you know, residue agents. You sons of bitches! For fuck's sake! Why are you, why are you fuckers always meddling where you don't fucking belong? I swear to God. Now we gotta beat you the shit out of you. You are a gang of criminals! That, and you have a residue agent! Hidden in your fucking... <laughs> Oh, you know what? A day. They snap their fingers. <laughs> and more residue agents reveal themselves. You go, you go fucking regret, you go wishing a Zolver was here to save your stupid ass. Mm. Yeah, we'll just have to go with the in training one, won't we? Ah, oh, fuck. I, for fuck's sake, always. Why are you bastards everywhere? It's just annoying at this point. This is a town that trains us. We are you are going into the nest of absolvers. You should know this is what would happen. Um, oh my god, how did you tame a vital if you're this stupid? Look, we don't ask look, we don't ask questions. We don't, have, we don't ask about the fucking orders, we get them done. We'll see about that. One eye for the future. One eye, f I mean, one eye for the vision of the gang, and one eye to see. Time to fucking die. And then with that, we get into a combat. We get into a combat stance. Indeed. Right. Come on. Oh crap! Fuck! I didn't give her an hit bonus. Oh, oh, there we go. Is that so bad guy? He's, he's going to be representing their initiative. Okay. It's a rise We need to do the arc system call. Of course, I was about to say that. Okay. I'm you go ahead and wall it, because you're the only okay. person of interest here. Can't escape from pots and pans. Take a breath. First try. Let's cook. That kind of that's kind of hard, actually. That kind of goes. And I suppose, for the sake of the audience, I will post her password and tags. Yes, the powers of uh, Devil's Tongue. We need to add some long breaks to that later. So it is the gang's turn first, it would look like. Yep. But, you solve a round, are you going to be, um... I'll be are you going this. to be, um, duet? Are you, are you going to be marked? Or are you going to be duet? Or duet let's go. Okay. That means, um... For the sake of our audience, in case you forgot from the last trailer, that means basically she can take a main action in response to another character's action, and then also take and a main action on the turn. So she gets two main actions, but the second one is in response to another oh, main that, action. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and then um, and for the two eyes foot soldier, they have direct actions, so you can use the game plus one. This one's going to, you know, stabbing mm -hmm. Alicia with a gorgeous katana they pull out of a, um, hidden, hidden sheath. Naturally, she blocks yes. with her sword. For fuck's sake, stay still already. And, mm -hmm. and then she takes two damage from being punched with glass nuts. Let me just real quick. Uh, I think this is correct. Hold on. 
This will come up actually soon. Start, I'm saying it all is. And he does not match it for the um. Alright, you know. Two eyes will be effective. Bikes will see right. so. Another bike will go. Two. He probably would. In which one? Yeah, yes, he would. Yes, it's um. Yeah. Alright, minor illness aura. Yeah. Enter turn. Wow. Yeah, you, you see if you end your turn up in it. And so, vitals move up, and they raise their hands, and um, wham. Yeah. Wham. Oh, I think I'll dodge that one. Try to anyway. Get the bonus action. Go ahead. You know what you do. And so, the vitals actually activate the passive on that first one, which is going to go to the station. Take another swing. Oh shit. Claws deep into the shoulder. I want to say only take four. You only take four damage, but you also receive a stack of bleed. And so, which one stepped up to do that? Okay. Oh, the, In that the, case, the, might the, as well go for like the rope with this. They have six movement. Oh, whatever. I can't find the blood drop one right now. That would be. So, in response to that, she'll go for another for the spotlight for all that. Okay, one of them disintegrates and one of them is dead on the spot. Okay. Falls to the ground. This um this two eyes is gonna try and um, brace for impact. Oh, yeah. let me just pull out. Oh they do. Okay. Next to it the next three attacks of hit by will have half damage. Including that one, including that one. So two, so two after this. Whoa! And they throw their hands up and manage to block the swing. It kind of chops up the, you know, it kind of chops up the suit, but they're a little bit better than they would have been. Jesus! He's just sort of looking at them. Not really at the top of my hands. Then um. You know, you just hear the, you know, you just hear the chanting of the two human, two humanities in the background. They're not stepping up to attack. Oh, hey, it can't crack. The car's right. Okay. Oh, never mind then. This is the next attack, yeah. Yep. Anyways. The two men are chanting and attacking. Um, they're bo- and they're both standing of the two there, are projecting the back. minor illness all this. Right. Yeah, then. Hmm. Well, they kind of have to. Do they have to? Yeah, they have to, because they. But well, this one moved here, but then, you know. It's. Didn't you come here? Right, and call what the fuck are you being you know these things again? Like, you're all gonna be arrested and. Minutes on the way. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh. Alright, and she starts her turn choosing the end of the two stacks of red. And. Well, it's a very effective technique. And I think everyone got hit with it last time, so that has advantage. 
take their own Neon, I think. Which is probably how they... Eh, not, not any difference in effectiveness, but... Yeah. Well, again. Yeah. These two disintegrate. Hmm. Mm -hmm. um, so it's how much doing? Both the two eyes are still up, they're looking a bit rough though. Mm -hmm. Standard bleeding, because she hasn't had a good turn yet. The end, she's there, so she spends three movement to stop the bleed. And is going. Okay. I'll, I'll say it's a blanket thing. I'm gonna say it's a blanket thing. Um, since you bought sanity, you can consume one to heal for four. And you have like two sanity uses. Standard Oh, okay. For heal for. Okay. That's two, very useful. You have two sands that each and heal you for four. What sort of action would it be? Just a bonus action? Alright, she eats the sandwich. And yeah, bonus action. She still doesn't want to stand in this order now, so she has two movement from that. Oh, right. And well, that's enough to get out of the... The sickness field is, like, perceivable enough to act on, right? So you kind of know um, when you see, right. like, um... Yeah, so something kind of like okay. mildly Probably not enough to get the back kind of like kind of so see it. It's like making a good it's kind of like that. Few steps back at all, spending her leg to get out of there. Alright, now the end of turn. Okay. Alright. And we still move up. Week four. One of them. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> it looks like the second item in Alright. What the fuck? Right. Well, gun gives them... Okay, so plus four to the next attack against the Russia. Yeah. Yep, yeah, and then, um... This one's like... Got it! You never know what fucking hit ya. Wham! Right. That's very middling. Okay, so that's that has more damage, five so that's a you neutralize the sandwich. <laughs> Is that really you something you want to be saying, standing to in a circle around sword. me again? Yeah, that's like Oh yeah? One of them will spend a bonus action, if you recall, for actually do it tactics. Okay, but I do have my duelist action. One of them a bonus action, you move one, two, over here. Which I believe would trigger before they got the chance. Indeed. But yeah, and then this one can spend a bonus action. Mm -hmm. well, this one can spend a bonus action again, if you do not want to attack them. Are you going to? You can still proc the motherfucker who stabbed her. Okay. Yep. This one, you see this one about to make a move and the side of her blade. Ah. Uh, and she Ah. Hmm. Alright, boys, sick em. This one moves up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I get it. Sick of them. They're still muttering, you know, etc. End of turn. Clover. Alicia. Is, you know, the sickness or. What? It is? So. Oh. She steps up. Uh, uh, I think yeah, yeah, I meant that. I meant that. Action last turn on the dodge and forgot to count that out of the sandwich, so I'll just say I don't get it this time. And with that in mind. Oh. Fuck. Nope. Okay. Alright, she. 
she does get those. Oh, right, and she also gets another stack of wood. Wow, oh my god. So, <laughs> she's just going to kick. Just out of spite, she's going to kick the, blue, the two eyes slightly further into the sickness field. Uh, I'm spending a blue on my side. Okay, you know, just give me your strength for and no, no good. As strategy. like the, the, the single, the okay. second eye illusion comes ah. up again, distracting him just long enough for her to kick her phone Mother. a bit. Yeah. You're the one who brought oh. them. These things fucking suck. Oh my god. It's not even like deadly. So it's just really standard. annoying. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah. Seven to nine? Yeah, I must have missed a step somewhere. Two. Yeah. Yeah, no, I gotcha. I mean, yeah, no, I, 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 I did the math. Myself. I'm the GM, anyway, trust me. I did uh, do all the math. So, that's end of turn. She's still indoors. Anyways, yeah. Yeah. Okay, and so... Oh yeah, you said on Duelist, you just said. And this one's gonna be like... I'm gonna step over here, one moment, oh my, this guy... Ugh. You still gonna move up? <laughs> it's really I didn't even mean for it to still flip them, that's like hilarious her. actually. The point is it's not even like a particularly awful aura, it's just extremely annoying. They'll go be like tier 3. Anyways, this one. You see kind of, you see um, smoke emerging from the <laughs> back of the, the car. Player. They go to like, you know, just kind of grab Aldo on the ship. Grab um, Alicia on the shoulder. So that's three damage. <laughs> and one to two stacks of singed. Alright. There's two things. He'll be applying two, and then um, okay. he'll be the grapple check against you. Contested, of course. Clash? Chaos. Oh god. <laughs> Escalation. Alright. Okay. 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 Okay.
Fuck this. I'm running out of <laughs> dimensional space, but that's what we're trying. Sure. And yeah, back to hell for a day. You're like on the hill, that's what, that's what I was explaining. And end turn, take three damage, and lose the stack singed. Yeah. Wait a minute. Uh, in the turn, right? Wait a minute. That boy had a fucking picnic basket. Mm. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, yes. Mm. And they're going to go and try and kill for your picnic basket. Main action. Right. One, There's two, a three, pretty four. There's a wife will do it. I guess they're allergic. <laughs> <laughs> it's it, they're having trouble getting the they're having trouble getting the lid yeah. open at the moment because they're like they're literally at one stamina so open your fucking thing. One two three four. One two three four. One two three four. Main action. One two three four. <laughs> One, two. There you and go. For the average enemy that for the average person that would work. Alright. Is that end of turn? Alright. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's turn. Right. Step forward. Marked. And double bonk once again. That's another however much damage the team deals. So that would be I think. Six at this point. Uh, and this yeah, one goes down. Turns as you get some other two stacks of red. Uh, All right. One, two, three. She's going to spend her. Oh wait, she spent one man action now. So spent all her movement. Don't you touch my picnic basket, you bitch! Right. Yeah, and there's a difference between offering and getting it stolen. Hey, you offered me a sandwich. Yeah. Like getting the crap out of here. Might as well do some criminal activities. Says, as, as a fucking <laughs> flat, as like a mirage speed dashes yeah, over wait, what? there. That was her. That was her red. She doesn't have quite. Uh, she can't do negative knockback. Yeah, that's. She can do it for allies, but not for allies. <laughs> hmm. That'd be fucking funny though. Alright. The Zar Hando! Jeez. I can't think of anything clever to. Well, no, I've been ready in action to bonk again. No, this is, this is a personal offense. She's going to pull Demon Fang if they get within melee range. Alright. Minus two from the singe. And down to one. And yeah, ready in action. If I get within melee, just hit him with demon fang. Otherwise, end turn. Hey, now this one is the um, one of them. Sword, right? Yeah. This one's gonna do that. I move down here and attempt to do it is again. Is purposefully putting illusions to make it harder <laughs> to, to, to work out the position of the basket. Main action. Fuck it. 
<laughs> what the fuck? One, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh. God, he's fucking kidding One. me. Think it's on the full show? Is a delicious, delicious Sonia. She steps up and fucking extra effort plus two to that roll. She is very, very invested in getting this fucker. Okay. As a dragon's mouth opens up. Uh, that that overkills in my five. Because ah. it hits twice. And that's enough to down her, but she's going to use extra effort to stay at one. Okay. Yeah. You have this one. And it's done? Right. End of turn. Step up. And Alicia. Step up. <laughs> More of a classic. Bonk. Bonk. That's right. I need to get more used to giving her a bunch of red. So that's a total of uh, maybe four and then. So a total of eight, I think. Okay. That and it, it, it lives at one. Hmm. And you're turning the hey, sickness That probably over? is a bad idea because there might be more coming. <laughs> oh, right. No, she ended her turn with Singe, so. Yeah, because she needed to stay up at one and then. Hmm. Oh no, I think I, I think after the Demon Fang maneuver, she's in edge of consciousness now, actually. Let's see, I think we do, yeah we do. Oh we had that. Instead oh of exactly zero stamina as the singed down her <laughs> thanks to that maneuver. So no, she is not going to be staying in the sickness area. Back pedal. Hey, I mean, yeah, but she doesn't, doesn't have, have any reason to, to know that. Singer's Hall doesn't damage you until you've stayed in for four right. rounds. Yeah. That's fair enough. Hold oh, on, I think I need to make the, the stay alive check. Alright. Oh, it's only one I want to do. Three, four. It's only when you hit with a jet attack. Oh. You know this one will take a swing at you? I probably should have knocked it away in hindsight. If you do it, All right. you know, if you go I into the I'll let you get advantage on a dodge check. Okay. The militia is not very well built. <laughs> yeah, you dodge it. Yeah. Alright, she'll stay in the wars just okay, for the sake of it. I mean, yeah, it's the end of it's done. Alright, you'll go. Right. And then, yeah, bonk. I mean, it's the same round, to be fair. And, well... Hmm... Nah, not yet. Actually, right, she, she has enough red to back up. You know what, it'll make it... It'll make it... Alright. Oh, hold on, hold on. It's going to make an attempt, this is going to attempt to try and grab your hand if you do this. Hold on. Alright. On a partial, you can contest this real quick. Hold on, I can contest this. Okay. Alright, and here's well, the thing, you just took an box. action, and with Duelist. Hey. 
that the fountain in your little second was that. not one stem that I went to be able to down it, but you managed to down it. Yeah. Honestly, I think it's kind of a character building moment though. It's like, you know, this why she's going to school. She she's, she crawls you over know. to the picnic basket and begins so, eating again. In the aftermath. Yeah. She's probably just like Hold on, dude, I don't have a fucking image of someone real quick. Agony, pain even. Right. I, Jeez, I, I, I didn't so realize how. I'm, I'm I guess I do need to play out, her more probably because you know. a lot of her powers comes from the illusions, which I'm being clever with. Yeah. It's hey, something you've been going that we're bullshit. Trying. Remember, I got, remember, I got a couple of those ones there with the eyes of the star, but then I just. Yeah, I should have kept that out. It's not gonna work. Because she just is laid out eating sandwiches. <laughs> this is part of why I picked her, is I need to work on creativity. <laughs> this is a good trial by fire method to do so. Yeah. I guess it is one less than Sophie did. That's still a pretty good number. It's unfortunate that you had to kind of fudge things a bit to keep me alive near, near the end. Yeah, it's fine. This is why we have these things, it's kind of like a session deal almost. Yeah. I'm not bothered by it, you know. It is what it is, what it is, what it is. Huh, what I should have done is I should have made illusions of the two eyes barking orders at the, the vitals and everything. To, like, get them confused enough to start attacking their own allies. Another thing I know. Alright. It all comes down to shenanigans. <laughs> shenanigans. Sometimes you just gotta fuck it, we ball, and then you ball until you die. Eventually, yeah. Uh... Eventually you won, yeah. Almost done. Then we can wrap this up, you know.
Yeah. Yep. I did it too. Time so after the fact, right? Revelisha kind of realizes something. Wow, he's feeling really yeah. bad after all of that. She's like, you know, it's, it hurt a lot. All of that. He, he just just to take down some shit mob. Those are like the lowest of the lowest, you know, um, residue agents, and she's hurting bad after that. You, sh mm -hmm. you know. She's probably thinking about her plans for the future. You know she might feel. She come into this thinking she sort of coast through the program, finish up, and then get a job somewhere that didn't involve residue agents. But she's thinking about it now, and she's not going to be able to get away from the threat that is the Esper Beast just because she gets a normal job or brings up a normal life. Even if she hung up her ego and got herself fixed and moved on, she'd still have to face those threats. And maybe it's better to be ready to fight, face the things that goes bump in the night than simply turning the lights on. Suddenly, appearing in the um, breeze is a figure. Um, so, so appearing in the breeze is a figure that, um, at first, they're wearing an all, first off, they're, they're wearing kind of a, um, bluish-white suit uniform, like, you know, like a suit, and they have a, um, with a white cape on. So they're wearing an entirely white, featureless right. mask that emanates an aura around it. As they appear, right? They look around as they step forward, not making a um, sound before they take their mask off and um, set and put their hands in their pockets. Um, they have a sheath on the side, by the way, as well. Alright, okay. Um, would you like to make me a knowledge check, actually? Too tired. She's like, right. surprisingly, she her breath, something? she doesn't sound ragged as she talks, but she's very clearly breathing, very heavily just winded. That's a lot of enemies. I won, but now. Yeah, she, she struggles up there. She's it, eating it, like, hand kind of a cream pot or something. Or something. Apologies for my um. Apologies for lateness on my behalf. Um, I should. Probably, I saw these ones this coming, but I had, to make a, I had to make a decision because there's, there's quite a lot tonight. Yes, so yeah. across the town it seems. Have any idea what they want? We're not, we're not quite, we're not quite certain yet. We absolve the core, but um, we're cleaning up wherever they are. Um, just, just make sure to stay yeah, safe. Absolve, um, absolve they, they look, they look at the mask as you eat. I assume you'll need to use it. Some point in the future, I'm too tired to remember right now. They, they nod. 
very well. Um, well, we wish you, yeah, we wish you luck on the right. short and train. I believe that Good luck with your uh, criminal hunting as well. Self, I'm going to go lay down somewhere as she takes the pancake uh, basket and walks off. Of course. Mm -hmm. uh, they hear a, um, suddenly they hear something, um, as they're walking away, like, here's something over the way, you're like, what? Uh, what store? Alright, alright, I'll be right there. As you know, they kind of they put the mask back on, they, um, double strings extend out. One of them seems to burn away as they draw what looks to be a kopesh. They c and then suddenly they stab oh, into the ground and they cool. disappear. She goes home. And she's going to probably sleep in the next day. Okay. Yeah, no doubt about that. I think she's earned it. At the very least, what she has to look forward to is that in the future she won't stand alone. She'll stand with an also, adjudication is this one supposed team, to be here? but just who might those adjudication team members be? Dun, dun, dun. It's just, I, I, I didn't want to say anything during the fight, what? but it's just sort of been standing there, or is just, that just an artifact? Huh? Oh, uh, maybe it's just on my end there. Can you take a picture? It's, Can you take you a know, picture and not see it? Stepping tall. Oh, okay, well, we changed maps, so never mind. It, well, with that, my lucky viewers, we end the second of... Okay, uh, yeah, it's not supposed to be there. With that, my viewers, we end the second of the Ego Trailers. This time, for the, um... For the user of Devil's Tongue, Alicia, will she will she make it? Will she make it forward? Will she be able to? Will she be able to cut it out? Will she rise to the ranks of the legendary absolvers before her, or will she fade away? Mm. It will all be. It will have to be seen. For for the meantime, mm. Aldor, three cough or three stamina. Okay. Alright. Uh, well. This has been fun. I and I should probably kill the recording work. now. Hmm? Okay. Well, hold on. It's... Tune in next time. Tune in next time, dear viewers, for when we see the tale. Of a of a of a bookkeeper, you might you might perhaps say, as we tune in next time on Ego Death Id Trailers. This has been Id Trailer <laughs> Devil's Tongue. <laughs>